Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Shelly here, ready to work with you on another tutorial. This is more of a beginner level tutorial. I do have a few more advanced tutorials on the way for the start of this coming week. But today we're just going to make a very simple and very easy snowman. Just something easy to close out the weekend. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday and let's get started. For this step, using the mono line brush, just draw in your circles. If you hold the circle down on the page, it'll give you a very even circle. And I'm just going to center him a little bit and color him in. Like so. I'm gonna rotate him and just kind of get him positioned how I want him on my page. And then I'm going to color in his hands. So he's got some cute little hands. And I'm going to write the word Happy Holidays down at the bottom. Like so. And growing my brush even more, maybe to 48, 45% somewhere in there. I'm going to put my string lights at the top. So for the string lights, I'm just going to start in the middle and work out to the edge of the card. These do not have to be perfect. To be very cute. So now this is one layer with the Happy Holidays and the string lights. Make a new layer. Grab your black. I'm going to start drawing in his details. For the carrot nose, I'll go a little bit smaller with my brush. I like to make a little bit of an upturned carrot nose. And now it's time to create our paper cut effect. So go ahead and duplicate your snowman layer. Now to duplicate a layer, you just select it, swipe it to the left, and you select duplicate, which is right here. I've made two layers. I'm going to select the middle layer and I'm just going to go ahead. Oops, sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and add alpha lock. We need to select black from our color. Select it again, go with fill layer. And I don't know if you noticed, but it just turned the snowman black. So we've got this one black layer surrounded by two white layers, so you're not gonna see it, it's invisible for now. Go to alpha lock again, deselect it, that allows us to manipulate the layer, which is what we need. And we're going to Gustian blur, and we're just creating a blur. Now I don't want that so dark. So I'm going to change the opacity by clicking on the layer. On the right side of the layer, I can select the opacity. And if you'll notice, it changes the opacity and just makes it slightly less dominating on this image. And again, to get your Gaussian blur, you go to Magic Wand tab down here under Adjustments. And to blur, you just swipe in this direction. <coughs> okay, so there's just a little bit more to do. We're going to take layer three on my layers tab here. And we're going to duplicate that layer two times. Take your middle layer, alpha lock, we're still on black, so we can go straight to fill layer, alpha lock again, 
and Gussian Blur, which again is this magic wand tool. Grab the Gussian Blur, and we're going to blur out now your string lights and the word Happy Holidays. And I don't want that to be so dominating, so on this layer we just made, I'm going to click on it, and I'm just going to reduce that opacity just so slightly. Now, something else you can do is grab your snowman layer, your first layer, and you can duplicate that. Take your pointer and grow this image out like so. I don't want the second set of hands, so I'm going to take my eraser tool and just get rid of those, but I did make myself a neat little backdrop for him, so it's almost as though he's made from many stacked sheets of paper. That's pretty cool. And I can also give that a fill layer if I would like to. So I'm going to fill that in with a gray. I'll fill lock it first, then fill layer. And now your finishing touches. And I want to make the little snowflakes in the background of my card. And I know that the holidays are over, but it snowed here the other day and that just really put me in the mood to make some holiday cards. Hey guys, well there you have it, just an adorable holiday card that you can add to your portfolio, save to your computer for the future. I hope this card was quick and easy for you so you can get back to enjoying the rest of your Saturday. And thanks again for joining my tutorial today, guys. Please make sure you subscribe. Subscribing definitely helps my channel to grow. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.